So I thought I'd take a chance here and um, kind of show something that I'm working on. So drywall on this, call it a lower level that we uh, framed up. The house used to be a crawl space, it was taken off, put back onto a new ICF foundation and we, we drywall that tapered starting on Monday, wrapping up some final little details and doing drywall returns everywhere. Um, and I'm working on the ICF openings that are of various differences in thicknesses and to what we were, we had to do to get the windows in to where they needed to be. <clears throat> so I came up with this idea to make these edges straight and clean. Right now I just kind of rough cut them out so that I could keep the window opening done as we rocked it. Um, but what I'm doing is I took my laser and I created a parallel line with the line off the window. Just made a arbitrary five inch mark on each end set the laser then ran a vertical line <clears throat> and now I'm tucking in framing angle inside behind there based off of what the dimension is from here to there this is perfectly straight real clean on each side um, probably could have solved this by doing it a little bit different back when we were doing the framing but um, I didn't so here we are you know working with what I did <clears throat> so I've got a plumb line going here and this dimension is 15 and 5 eighths. So I'm setting my framing angle in here at 15 and 5 eighths. Lining it up and then now I can go through and I can just cut that drywall with the roto zip. That was kind of interesting in case anybody's ever run into it. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of people use steel stud and framing angle and residential. Everything wants to be wood and, and I'm all for it but Definitely some of the commercial world's features has its advantages. So 